On PowerPoint, you'll need to resize the slide to A1 size before you start making your poster. To do this, open PowerPoint, then go to File, and then Page Setup. This will bring up the Page Setup menu. Firstly, select the orientation you want, Portrait or Landscape, and then select the size. This menu uses centimetres, so type in a width of 59.4 and 84.1 for a portrait A1 size poster. Then press OK. You may see an error message about the page being too large for the printer. Simply press OK, leaving the page set up as edited. On Photoshop, begin a new page by selecting File, then New. This will bring up the page menu. If you click on Preset, you will see a drop-down menu of preset sizes, such as US Paper, which is A4. To create an A1 canvas, click on Custom, then select Millimeters, and then type in 594 for width and 841 for height to create an A1 portrait size canvas. The default colour mode is RGB, which is best for digital and web published images. CMYK is best for professional printing, so choose this preset, then press OK. You can right click on the ruler tool measurements located above and to the left of the canvas to change the measurement to millimetres, just to check the page size. You can also quickly change the poster from portrait to landscape by clicking image, then image rotation, and then turning it 90 degrees clockwise. Adobe InDesign is a fantastic program for making any sort of document. To create an A1 canvas, click New Document to bring up the Options menu. The default document is already optimised for print and one page, so click the page size drop down menu and select custom page size. You can see I already have A1 as a preset, but to create it yourself, simply name the custom page size A1 or A1 poster and change the width measurement to 594 millimeters and the height to 841 millimeters. Choose the orientation, portrait or landscape, and then press OK. Check the orientation is correct, then adjust the remaining settings. It's important to leave a small margin on a poster because printers will automatically shrink your image in order to grip the page without smudging the ink. Select a small margin, around 20mm. Clicking the lock icon will change the other values accordingly. Then press OK to create the A1 page.